Thanks for that update, Melinda. Chief Meteorologist Catherine Thompson here. Let's talk a little bit about the weather now. It's been very unsettled today, not a complete washout, but we've still seen these hit or miss showers and thunderstorms, and they will continue over the next several hours. Just again, very on and off activity. We're def definitely warm enough, and we've got the moisture in the air to help that storm development. Temperatures for most today have topped off in the 70s and 80s, and many of us are still sitting in the 70s right now. You can see where we have had some rain-cooled air, though. We're sitting in the 60s in some spots, and you can see all the cloud cover there in Beckley. We had some heavier downpours roll through Beckley, uh, speaking of Raleigh County, earlier today, and we've still got some heavy downpours out there now, at least in spots. We're seeing some heavy rain, for instance, uh, just east of Hinton right now, right on the summer's Greenbrier County line. We're also seeing a few isolated downpours across parts of Buchanan, McDowell, and Wyoming counties at the moment. And this will continue to pop up at least for the next few hours. The main concern with any storms we see uh, through sundown, at least, will be flash flooding or just very heavy rainfall that could cause rapid rises in creeks and streams. We don't have a lot of upper level wind support for these storms, which means they may slow down and kind of stall and dump a lot in certain places at certain times. So a flash flood watch is in effect right now for Greenbrier, Summers, Monroe, Giles, Mercer, Bland, with and Tazewell counties. We've already seen some heavier downpours in some of these places today, and that's why we're concerned that we could have a few flooding issues arise before the night is over. The good news is we haven't seen anything major with flooding so far, and the severe risk should stay off to our northeast. It's actually been for pushed further uh, to our northeast than it was earlier in the day. So that severe risk is really pretty much zero now. But we're still going to get a few more showers and storms with at least the heavy rain uh, over the next few hours. But here we are, 8, 9 o'clock tonight, and things are fizzling out. So once we lose any sunlight, we start to lose the heat we have, things will start to fizzle out. And most of tonight is looking quiet, but we'll have a lot of clouds around. We're going to have a lot of fog because of the wet ground. Temperatures for most tonight staying mild. We're talking 60s. Now tomorrow, Looking mainly dry. If you're wondering about the weekend, the weekend is not looking bad at all. I'm planning on getting outdoors. Maybe you should too. Temperatures will be warm. It's still going to be muggy tomorrow, but we will be mainly dry. Just a slim chance of a passing shower or two, but nothing severe to worry about. And Sunday looks drier with much lower humidity. It's going to feel much better as we head into Sunday, Sunday evening. We're going to be cooler as high pressure takes control and that low pressure moves away. Now, most of next week is looking dry too, but we're still keeping our eye on a tropical system. This is Tropical Storm Cristobal, still just off the coast of Mexico, and it will continue to move north into the Gulf and strengthen as it enters our mainland, I guess you could say. It will eventually bring us some moisture as a cold front kind of interacts with that moisture into next week. I don't think that will be until Wednesday into Thursday that we see rain. So most of next week even is looking pretty dry, just very warm, really typical late spring, early summer weather. Again, to recap, looking at that seven day, just the slim chance of those showers again tomorrow. Not everyone will see them, but then we're mainly rain free Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. I do think the better chance again will be that tropical moisture working in Wednesday night into Thursday morning. And we could get a little bit cooler by the end of next week. Melinda, I'll send things over to you.